Here are five things that you can do every day for better mental health. Hey, thanks for watching. Today is Wednesday, Big Idea Wednesday. And today's big idea, I think, is very, very important. Probably more important than, than most of the ones that I've made. And that deals with mental health. And when I'm talking about mental health, I'm not just talking about people that have afflictions, people that have problems, people that are bipolar or depressed or, or whatever. I'm talking about everyone. Everyone, right, needs to deal with their mental health. Now, if everything is fine for you in that department, then these are going to be five things that you can encourage other people, people in your life that may have these problems to do every day to have their mental health be better, okay? Now, the first one is sleep. One thing that is so important, and we don't think about it that much, is the sleep that we have. If you do not have the right amount of sleep, your brain does not work as well as it would if it had the right amount of sleep. You know, if you look at bodybuilding forums and you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain muscle or whatever, and you can go look it up, they say if you don't get the right amount of sleep, you're wasting your time. That's how important it is that even these uh, uh, bros in the gym, they know that if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain muscle, it's so important that you get the right amount of sleep. And it's also that true for uh, how your brain works as well, for your mental health. And so that is one thing that you can do. Uh, encourage a friend, hey, I see you're depressed. Well, one thing that I heard that you can do is to make sure you get the right amount of sleep. So encourage them to go to bed at an earlier time or whatever. One thing we do when we're depressed is we'll stay up later and later and later, and it, then it just uh, makes a vicious cycle of not having enough sleep. I would probably guess that most people living on the street, people living in their cars, are not getting a good solid eight hours of sleep. That makes it even harder for them to get out of the situation that they're in. So that would be the first pillar. The second pillar of mental health is diet. And we hear about diet all the time, but it's not just for our physical health. You know, our brain is part of our body and we can't expect it to work as well if we just feed it garbage all the time. And so that's one thing that you can do. You know, people that are depressed, often they will go to junk food and just go to their cravings to uh, satisfy that, but it just repeats a vicious cycle. If you're down or whatever, <laughs> one of the best things that you can do is make sure that you eat correctly. So that's the second pillar of mental health. The third is medication, okay? And this is specifically for people that have been prescribed something for their doctor. If you've been prescribed something, be sure to take your medicine as it's prescribed. Now, if it's not working, right, be sure to talk to your doctor and get that to be changed. But don't just stop taking it. This happens a lot, especially uh, people that are depressed. They think, oh, this medicine's not working. I'm just going to stop taking it. And then they don't talk to their doctor about it and things get worse. So if you have a friend and they're clinically depressed, make sure that they're taking their medicine. And if it's not working, encourage them to go see their doctor to either get off the medicine or to change it to something else. The fourth pillar is being social. This is so important. And in our world today, uh, many people have a great job where they're around a lot of people and that works well for being social. They get all of that from work. But many people don't. You know, a lot of people work from home or maybe they don't work. Maybe they're raising kids and they're at home all day. Or let's say they're on disability and so they don't have a job and they're stuck in their apartment, okay? It's really important that those people get out and talk to other people. You know, we've heard about the crazy cat lady and the crazy cat lady is crazy because she's not getting out enough and speaking with people. 
So if you or someone you know has an issue with this, encourage them. That's one thing that you can do is encourage them to get out. Uh, Go for a walk, get out, go for a cup of coffee, get out, go to the store, talk to the cashier, whatever it is. But get out and talk to some people because that's really important for your mental health. You know, it's pretty clear to me that if people do not get out and be social, they get weirder and not in a good way, in a bad way. And so that is the fourth pillar of mental health. The last pillar of mental health is exercise. And I know a lot of people do not like exercise. Well, I don't necessarily mean going to the gym and lifting weights, although that's great if you can do that. I just mean getting out and doing something. One thing I do every day is I take my dog for a walk first thing in the morning. It's about 20 minutes. Sometimes I walk, sometimes I ride my skateboard, but either case, I'm getting out, I'm moving, I'm getting fresh air, and I'm working my body. And that carries over through the rest of the day. A lot of people that are depressed do not get out and exercise. And that really is one of the best things that you can do. You know, your brain is connected to the rest of your body. When you exercise, more blood goes through your brain, and it does change your state of mind. So if you want good mental health, you need to get some exercise, either walking, jogging, uh, go for a bike ride. I think it would be fantastic if the entire world would go and take a Zumba class. But I know that's not for everybody, you know. But just getting out and having music and dancing and being around other people can do such wonders uh, for our mental health. But if that's not for you, there's got to be something that you can do. Find out what that is. And if you have a friend that you want to encourage, have them find what works for them. That could just be a walk in the park. So encourage them to go for a walk in the park. But in conclusion, mental health is for everyone. It's something that we can all work on every day. And we can encourage other people in our lives that are not doing as well in that category, these are five things that you can encourage them to work on. That's sleep, diet, medicine, being social, and getting some exercise. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Peace. Help me reach my goal of 1 million. Make that 4,000 subscribers by hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you.